Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, I'm going to go through my thought process as I try and figure out which running shoe I'm going to keep. And it's down to these two, the Ultra Torin 4.0 or the Ultra Escalante Race. And quite frankly, um, I like them both a lot but they're very different shoes. And I've read a lot of reviews, I've watched a lot of review videos, and it was really hard for me to understand the fundamental differences as it matters to me between these two shoes. I'm a new runner, so let me just get that out of the way, right? I'm learning what kind of shoe do I want? What kind of shoe do I prefer? I'm led to these two uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, I have a buddy uh, who is a, a fairly active runner who runs in ultras, highly recommends them. He also subscribes to the zero drop running style and, and that fits me. Previously, I've been running in these, right? So I have uh, Shama Mountain Goat Sandals and I have Vibram Five Fingers and I've been running in these and I really enjoy it. They are zero drop. So a zero drop running shoe seems like a plausible next step for me. So then we get into which ultra shoe do I want? I decided I wanted an ultra shoe. So I originally settled on the Torin 4 because it seemed like sort of the good entry level shoe for the ultra lineup. Zero drop, it's got a fairly reasonable stack height, not as high as the plush and it's more like a regular running shoe. It's padded everywhere. It's got a nice thick padded tongue. Uh, it does have uh, some supports in here. I'll give you some close-up video of that. Uh, so lots of mid-foot support. Uh, it's got nice coverage of rubber on the outsole and it's lightweight. But my buddy who told me about Ultras to begin with, he swears by the Escalante race. And I see why. Now that I have these, these are even lighter than the Torrens, like noticeable amount lighter. The upper is like a see-through mesh material. So they're super ventilated um, and they run really cool. So uh, anyway, so what I did today is I decided I was gonna run back to back to back to back. I ran four miles with uh, a mile of each shoe. So I started with the Torin, ran a mile, came back to the Escalante race, back to the Torin, back to the race. So you're gonna see the footage from that and I'll talk a little bit about, you know, my experiences with the two different shoes. So what I can tell you is the Torin 4 uh, fits like a really comfortable running shoe. Uh, it's got good, like I said, midfoot support. Uh, it's, it is snug in the midfoot, much, much tighter than I expected, especially given the open toe box of the Ultras. Whereas the Escalante race felt more like a broken in running shoe, even though it's brand new, it felt like, like slipping into an old pair of comfortable shoes. Uh, and that was a pretty significant thing because they're both brand new shoes. Uh, the, uh, the Escalante race sort of feels more like, like putting on a glove, a comfortable, soft, worn in, broken in glove. Whereas the Torin felt like putting on a brand new pair of well cushioned running shoes. Uh, they do hold a lot of heat. The Torrens um, were definitely hotter. Uh, it's got a really thick tongue and, uh, and just that snug feel really sort of kept the heat in. I noticed when I put on the Escalante races, they instantly felt cooler. Uh, and, uh, and, and by running them alternating, instead of like running, you know, one one day and one the next day, or one at the beginning of the run and another at the end of the run, what I was hoping to achieve is that I, I get a chance to really feel more objectively which one I prefer as opposed to just getting used to the one that I'm wearing at the time. The Torin 4 has a much more plush, bouncy feel to it. But in contrast, the Escalante races are very springy. So it's plush versus springy. And I heard somebody, one of the reviewers, talk about a Nerf ball versus a basketball. I didn't really understand that until I felt it. But that does make a lot of sense. The, the Torrens absorb the energy. They sort of soak it up and then you move past that. And they feel a little sluggish because of that, because it feels like you're having to 
now re-energize your next step of the stride, right? You're, you're trying to re-energize because you just absorbed all that energy. Whereas the Escalante races, they seem to rebound that energy. They spring it back to you. So it feels more efficient. It feels faster. And now I understand because I tried them. Uh, I tried them both back to back and it makes perfect sense to me. So uh, if you think about it like air pressure, right? I'm a mountain biker, a Jeeper, a one wheeler. Uh, I drive a performance car. In, in all those cases, air pressure makes a big difference on the ride quality and the feel of whatever vehicle I happen to be in. So if you think about it in terms of air pressure, low air pressure is sort of cushy and bouncy and soft and high and, and, and slower. Uh, usually with more traction, uh, but that's beside the point. Uh, the uh, higher air pressure is less resistance, it's faster, but that sort of feels to me how these two shoes differ. The Torin is a, is a low air pressure version. It's really soft and bouncy and springy, whereas the Escalante Race is a, is a higher air pressure, efficient, low resistance, but it doesn't feel harsh. So I, I wanna clarify that. And I was hoping that one of them would like stand out like, oh, you know, I have to have the really like cushy Torrens because the Escalante races are just beating me to death with no cushion. Like it wasn't like that at all, but really interesting. So if you get a chance to try both types of shoes, uh, I really highly recommend it. But uh, I really was looking for like, these are kind of two extremes, like really cushy or, or fast and racy, which one do I want? And I didn't know until I tried them. I'm sure the Escalante races are the ones for me. So uh, anyway, guys, that's it. I just wanted to show you this video, uh, sort of my thought process of how I figured out which type of shoe I want. Now you may be completely different. You may prefer the Torin. And to be honest with you, if I just bought the Torin and my buddy hadn't like swore by the Escalante races, I'd have bought the Torin and I'd have been 100% happy with them. But I decided to go ahead and try the Escalantes upon his recommendation and the races in particular. Oh my gosh. I, mean, I just love them. They're so, I, I can't explain. It's like putting on a glove, an old, worn, comfortable pair of running shoes, but they're brand new. Uh, I love that feeling. So, especially for me coming from sandals and five fingers, uh, this just felt too much like a traditional running shoe. This felt glorious. So anyway, guys, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any tips, again, I'm a new runner, so I'm just sharing my new guy thoughts. Uh, but if you have any tips or thoughts or, or questions, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.